Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you guys for joining me today. Now we're going to talk about something that's been driving me crazy in the fish room for a while now. I have an outbreak of brown algae. Do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and smash that notification bell. All right, so like many of you in a hobby, I'm having an outbreak of brown algae. So, first question is, what the heck is brown algae? Brown algae is a common name that refers to the diatoms. They find their way into both freshwater and saltwater home aquariums. Now, diatoms are unicellular organisms that occur either as solitary cells or in colonies. Now, like plants and other algae, the diatoms photosynthesize light into energy each species creates a unique opal-like crystalline covering around its cell wall. These appear almost like snowflakes and are quite beautiful under a microscope, even though their function is as a substantial armor protection for the tiny organisms. Alrighty then. So spring is blooming, and I've been working on my garden. I tell you what, I got so excited, I wet my plants. All right, well, let's talk about another type of bloom, a brown algae bloom. Boo! So what causes brown algae? Brown algae is a common occurrence in newly set up aquariums. Aquariums kept in dark places are also more likely to develop brown algae problems because the plants and green algae that grow in the bright light compete for the nutrients that diatoms need. Now, brown algae is also a sign that the water chemistry of your aquarium is not in optimal balance. After providing proper lighting, improving water quality should be your next concern. In general, you can look for a few main causes, excess silica or nitrate in the water or an abundance of nutrients. Now, silica can build up an aquarium from tap water that is high in silic acid. It can also leach from some types of substrates that you may be using, such as the silica sand. If the problem is due to high silica in the water, the brown algae seems to persist, get a special silicate absorbing resin for the tank's filter. In addition to possibly being high in your tap water, the nitrates that feed the diatoms can build up from uneaten food, dead material, or from overstocking fish. Increasing your water changes to remove nitrates will slow the growth of these diatoms. So what is a diatom? A diatom is a single-celled algae which has a cell wall made of silica. Many kinds are planktonic and extensive fossil deposits have been found. Is brown algae dangerous? Is it harmful to your fish? Well, it's not a good thing. But in general, brown algae diatoms, they're not gonna harm your fish if you keep them under control. Some fish do like to eat these diatoms and they can help clean up your tank, but I wouldn't freaking count on that. But brown algae is generally not good for the home aquarium environment. Unlike blue-green algae that can come up in large slimy sheets, these diatoms don't stick together. Patches of diatoms will generally make your tank look less appealing. Yeah, you can see here, it looks like crap. Okay, now I want to address all these miracle cures out there. These uh, algae removers that you, you can get in a store. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. Don't use chemicals. You don't need to. And if you do have this, just go throw it in the garbage and stop using chemicals because you don't need to. Algae removers, number one, they've been used, yeah, and they haven't killed any fish. But also they've been known to wipe out entire aquariums full of fish. These products are unquestionably toxic. And while the fish are supposed to tolerate it, not all of them do. The margin of error between safe and harmful is, is too small. You should also note that if you have aquarium plants, you have invertebrates, they're almost guaranteed to be harmed by these products. Look, I've never met an experienced aquarist who needs to use chemicals to sort out the problems in their aquariums. Just stop it. Just stop it. I know what you're saying. Vinny, how do we prevent brown algae? Well, I'm gonna tell you. 
increasing the lighting so the tank gets at least eight hours of light per day. See, that's my problem. In the basement, I don't, I don't have that. I don't put my lights on that long. That's why I'm having a bloom of brown algae. Now, as the tank matures, brown algae is often eliminated naturally by plants and green algae competing for the nutrients in the water, such as nitrite and nitrate. As with any algae, keeping the tank clean, performing regular partial water changes, it's the best preventative measure. I tell you, that's what solves most problems in the aquarium, just doing your regular maintenance. The best maintenance, me wow, all right, let's try that again. <laughs> the best maintenance measures are summed up simply. Okay, one thing you can do, you can add reverse osmosis water to the water source, especially if it's high in nitrite, I'm sorry, nitrate or silica. Definitely change your water regularly and clean your aquarium regularly. Definitely get it down into that gravel and clean it out with your vacuum. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, it's still possible to get algae in spite of regular maintenance, especially in a newer aquarium. Prompt attention to a sudden algae growth will prevent more serious problems later on. And now for the part you've all been waiting for. How do you remove this crap from your aquarium? How do you remove brown algae? Well, as the diatoms are merely resting on the bottom, a brown algae issue is pretty easy to clean up. No scrubbing is necessary. This type of algae does not adhere strongly to tank surfaces. It's easily wiped away. So just wipe off any tank decorations that might be affected, wipe off all the surfaces inside of the aquarium, and then vacuum the gravel. Don't do what these other people do and dip your things in bleach and take everything out of your tank. It's completely not necessary. Now, the hardest part of the removal, it's usually getting it out of the gravel. But vacuuming the gravel with a siphon, it's going to remove it pretty quickly. Vacuum, it's also important to assure the algae will not grow back as quickly. Now, in a freshwater aquarium, you can add a sucker mouth fish that will readily eat the brown algae. Stock one placo or several uh, auto sinkless catfish, and they can do the job. Now, in a saltwater aquarium, there are many species of fish and invertebrate that are diatom grazers. So just Google that, look it up, but do your research first. But it's, it, it's a really ugly problem, but it's not too hard to fix. Now, one thing you can do that will help is you can get a UV filter or a UV sterilizer. Now, some HOBs even have a UV built into the back, canisters have it built into the back. If you have one of those, what it's gonna do, it's gonna kill any waterborne algae and slow down the rate at which it spreads. Now, it's not gonna get rid of the algae on the plant leaves, it's not gonna get rid of the algae on your decorations, but it will help prevent it from growing back after it's been scrubbed off. So you can look into a UV sterilizer. That will help. Thank you guys for joining me. That's about all I know about the scourge of our aquariums, brown algae. I hope you guys had a good time. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. I don't know, leave a comment down below. But once again, thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you next time. I'm Vinny's Aquatics. Woo! Yeah, and like I said, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, just hit it. It's not going to cost you anything. Trust me, you won't be sorry. <laughs>